found wrapped in a carrier bag and left in a bin just like this. Dusty was brought into the RSPCA in Bristol by a member of the public who found her left abandoned in a dustbin that belonged to a block of flats in the city. I don't know who she belonged to, but she um, had just been abandoned, obviously, in the bin. Um, luckily, she was um, in no, no, no difficulties. She wasn't in any pain or you know, she wasn't suffering at all. She was OK. Um, had she been left in there, it would have been a different situation, obviously. Um, if somebody had put something else on top of the bin, um, then you would, they wouldn't have seen the little bag moving, so she could have ended up in a um, rubbish truck somewhere if she hadn't suffocated before that. So, um, yeah, not a, very, not a very nice situation for her, but she's very, very lucky um, to have been found and brought here. It's not the first time a cat has been abandoned in Bristol this month. Less than a week ago, a kitten was found at Cribs Causeway Car Park, being the seventh abandoned cat found there since the summer. Fortunately, it's not it's not a rare occurrence. So you kind of you get used to seeing the the un, uh, unhappy side of things, um, and just having to deal with it and try and give those animals a better future. In Bristol, lost, unwanted, and stray animals have been taken in and cared for by the RSPCA and Bristol Dogs and Cats Home. The branch itself um, incorporates the RSPCA Bristol Clinic and the Bristol Dogs and Cats Home. Um, and together we, we help all the animals that we can um, to make sure no, no animal suffers from lack of veterinary care or a home and, um, and make sure they all, all for hopefully find new and happy homes. The facilities at the clinic care for all animals just like Dusty and nearly 2,000 unwanted animals come here every year. Some of those are strays that are then claimed by by people who are looking for them. Um, others um, are brought in by RSPCA inspectors um, if they're, they've been abandoned or been treated badly. Um, a lot of them are strays, a huge percentage of the animals that come in here are strays um, that are never claimed, um, whether that's because they haven't got a microchip um, and so we can't reunite them and people don't come forward or whether it's just that they weren't wanted in the first place. But personally, in Bristol, um, we've had a really um, good time recently of rehoming our cats. They've, they've been going through quite quickly, so that's a positive thing. Um, but yes, we're, we're, always, we're always, you know, there's never an, a, a lack of animals here. So we're completely reliant on the people of Bristol to, um, to help us um, to stay here, to be, in, be here for the future for animals that are in need in Bristol. Um, but we can only do that with, with their support, whether that's um, giving an hour of their time for volunteer and volunteering or um, giving us financial support. Um, every donation makes a difference. So if you find any abandoned, stray or lost animals in Bristol, then do contact the RSPCA here and they can help try and find a new home for them. I'm Rachel Clark for Made in Bristol TV.